Hey guys, it's Melanie. Today we are taking a look through the last two drawers of my current makeup collection. So this is going to be kind of some backup products here, some random pigments and pencils. <laughs> I went through this drawer pretty aggressively and cleaned out quite a bit a couple of um, declutters ago, so there wasn't a ton of stuff in here, but this last go around, I did really clean out some of the pencils that were over on this side. So I'm gonna show you what I have left. Um, we're gonna go to the drawer right underneath after we're done with this one, and that will complete my makeup collection. So I'm gonna start with the back here. These are my mascara backups that I currently have. Um, these bins right here came from the dollar uh, spot at Target um, a while ago. So I have a Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir, which you guys know is one of my favorites. I have a Laura Geller Lash Boss, which is really good. And then these are both Lash Domination mascaras from Bare Minerals. Um, this is pretty good, but it's not my favorite mascara, and I think these were samples or they came in a kit. So those are the mascaras that I have backups of. My goal is to not do backup mascaras anymore because I have learned that if you buy too many mascaras, there is a chance that they could go uh, bad before you even have a chance to use them. So even if you keep them sealed, um, it's just best to buy mascara as you need it. So anyway, that's what's there in this little random container here. It's just some lash glue. This why is lash glue always so messy? Like it just it's all over the side here. But um, when I do use false lashes, I like the duo. Um, I rarely wear false lashes. Um, there is a random eye primer from Lorac here. This isn't the best for me because it does cause my eyes to water a little bit, but um, I'm keeping it as a just in case like emergency thing. But if I don't get to it within the next year and a half, I'm probably just gonna get rid of it because I feel like it'll get too old. There's a pencil sharpener here from Sally Beauty that I broke, and then just some mascara spoolies. Um, over here I have um, this again is a acrylic container from I believe the dollar store so in here are um, just some random pencils uh, so random eyeliners that I have left over that I honestly don't really use anymore I used to love this Kat Von D immortal love um, eye pencil uh, these do melt. I have very oily eyelids and so it's difficult for me to use pencil liners anymore and I typically just use a dark brown shadow now. So um, I don't know why I'm keeping this but I'm hanging on to it for now. I have some Laura Mercier caviar sticks for the eye. There's this Ico fat eye stick. So this is just a essentially a gel um, eyeshadow format. There's this one here. Uh, this is a Sephora waterproof crayon. Um, I don't even remember when I picked this up. What's the color? Dark taupe shimmer. You can see it's still sealed. Um, I'm just keeping it for right now. I also have a couple of other sealed um, Kat Von D eye pencils in here. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these. I was thinking about possibly selling them because they are still sealed, but I don't know. I just, I don't want to get into selling anything, to be totally honest. Um, multiple trips to the post office just sounds anxiety inducing to me, but I also, I don't know. I don't feel quite ready to give them away, but um, I think if I don't reach for these within the next year, I'm gonna go ahead and just pass them along to my nieces, probably just like I do everything else. There's also some random brow pencils in here. So this is just where pencils go. <laughs> um, so I've got one here from NYX. There's actually a couple in here from NYX. There is um, a really thin liner from Marc Jacobs in here. There's a Wander Beauty nude colored eyeliner in here. Um, 
And another thing that I keep in here that I'm just gonna grab really quickly from my everyday makeup drawer are my liquid eyeshadows. So um, the one that I probably like the best is the Stila Shimmer and Glows. Um, I will typically toss these in here. These are the ones from Wander Beauty. Although I believe they are discontinuing these liquid eyeshadows, um, which would be a bummer because they're actually really, really good. So um, anyway, but those normally live in here too when I'm not using them in my everyday makeup drawer. So I'm gonna go bring this back. Um, in the front here, I'm just gonna move the drawer up a little tiny bit so we can see better. These are pigments and um, this, actually this needs to get tossed. This is a color tattoo from Maybelline. Um, do they still make these? <laughs> I obviously don't buy from Maybelline anymore. They're not cruelty free, but um, I do have these two unopened ones. Um, the nude pink and the black orchid. The black orchid was limited edition. Um, I used to really love these back in the day when they first came out. Um, I think... I'm gonna hold on to these for right now. Um, they are still sealed, so I'm just gonna keep them that way for the time being. And um, yeah, but if, I don't know. I honestly don't know about these. I just, I kept staring at them for a while when I was doing my clean out and um, I couldn't decide what to do with them. So since I'm not ready to make a decision, I'm gonna leave them there for now. But the other pigments that I have in here are from there's some pigments from NYX I don't reach for these often because they are a little bit more messy they're all very similar colors um, so I've got mocha beanie and iced mocha basically brownie topes is what these are um, I do have uh, three pigments from Mac from back in the day this first one is called gold stroke this one is Movement. And then this one is, so my friend Steph from Flourish XO actually sent this to me years ago. Um, we send random packages back and forth to each other. This was a MAC pigment, and now I can't remember what the name of this one was. Hmm. Stephanie, if you're watching this video, will you comment down below? Because I can't remember. <laughs> So anyway, I don't reach for pigments very often, but I do like to have them, so I'm just keeping these in here. And then here is my beloved Tarte Amazonian Clay Volumizing Brow Powder in the color gray, because your girl has gray hair. So I actually purchased these, um, one, two, three, four, five, these five backups before I had my micro shading done on my brows. I do still run this powder through my brows after I am completely done with all of my makeup. And the only reason is, what I, what I actually could do is just take a, like, um, a, like, wet paper towel or, or like, a wet Q-tip and take the makeup off of my brow hairs and my brows. But I do put uh, my Paula's Choice SPF over my brows every single day to protect them. Your tattoos uh, can, both on your body as well as um, on your face with in the micro shading, for example, they can fade a lot faster with exposure to sun. So um, I am choosing to put the SPF over my brows. It does mute the color out just a little bit. So I do run just a tiny bit of this over top of my brows to bring the color back but I don't use it as aggressively as I used to, and this gray shade is absolutely perfect for me. Fair warning, I do believe they are discontinuing this, and if you are a gray-haired lady who needs a great gray brow powder, say that even three times fast, um, check this one out, I will link it down below. Um, like I said, it's being discontinued, so just fair warning, I would stock up if you like it. <laughs> I think that before they do away with it entirely, I might grab a couple more. Um, it's just, I've never found another, pow, um, another brow powder quite like this, so um, to me it's worth it. But All right, let's take a look at the drawer below. This is going to be pretty quick here. These are just some um, spray type products for my face. And then this actually needs to go in my bathroom because I'm going to use this on my body this summer. 
So this is the Australian Gold Mineral Lotion Non-Greasy Sunscreen SPF 50. So this did not work for my face. This works for a lot of people's faces. Um, don't just take my review with this product. Um, most people love this. Uh, it made my face extremely greasy. It did not work with my oily skin. Um, it feels like it has a lot of silicones in it. It has a very slick feel to it. Um, so this for me did not work on my face, but I am going to finish it this summer on like my neck and my decollete and probably like my upper arms and stuff. There is a little bit of a tint to it, so I'm going to have to be kind of careful with it. You can see that little bit of tint right there. Um, but yeah, I just kind of need to finish it up. Um, when does this expire? It does expire in uh, next year. So I'm just going to make it a goal to use this up. They do have a uh, body SPF, by the way, as well. So anyway, I'm going to actually take that to my bathroom. All right, so sprays. Um, I'm going to start over here. This is just a SPF spray. I like to use stuff like this in my work kit. For those that don't normally watch my videos, I'm a wedding florist. Most of my work is in the summer. Most of my work is outside. <laughs> People like to get married outside in the summertime. So um, I am outside quite frequently setting up for weddings in the hot Oregon summer heat. And um, I don't want my face to burn. I don't want my body to burn either. So I bring this along to spray over my Color Science SPF 50 that I put on in the morning before I go. So this is just to kind of like maintain the SPF throughout the day. This is only an SPF of 25. But my favorite is the Kate Somerville SPF 50, the uncomplicated SPF. This is an aerosol. This also, this one also prolongs my makeup. Um, I will say that for this particular product. So it's kind of double duty for me. But the fact that it's SPF 50, it's easy for me to reapply. I've gone through a couple of these. It's fantastic. I highly, highly recommend it. This Makeup Forever Mist and Fix is left over from when I was doing professional makeup. Um, I did mostly brides and boudoir, so I would use this more so on my brides than my boudoir clients because those were just photographs taken inside for that, obviously. But this was great for my summer clients. Makeup Forever is not cruelty-free, so I would most certainly not repurchase this. However, um... This is definitely almost like a hairspray for your face. It made things stay put for sure. So I kept this um, just in case I do makeup on friends. If they're going to like a summer wedding or something, I can just hose them down with this and keep their makeup on all day. This MAC Fix Plus is also actually just left over from my professional kit. I use this um, on clients that had drier skin as a setting spray. Um, I use this now from time to time to wet my eye brushes, but other than that, I don't really reach for this, and um, yeah, once it's gone, I won't repurchase this. By the way, these little plastic containers were just left over from a PR package, so they're just plastic. I think brushes came in those. Anyway, then there's a random makeup brush back here. I don't know why this lives in here. In fact, I'm going to go house this with the rest of my makeup brushes so let's take that out and then here are just some um, magnets from my Z palette so um, yeah I just keep those right here because there's a little slot but that's it for these two drawers um, and that's it for my makeup collection hopefully you guys enjoyed this and um, now you have a sense of what I have left after my latest declutter by the way, those declutter videos are set to upload the first full week of February, so you guys will see those then. Thanks a lot for tuning in, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.